It's time, everyone. Meet in front of the transporter room. Moo! Welcome, everybody, to... <laughs> part number 62 of Star Ocean 3. Till the end of time, and I've been just wandering around. I think I had to talk to everybody on the ship and not take a rest. And I probably eventually did that at some point. And there we go. I finally got the trigger to start this next part. And we're going to go back down to the transporter room and back down to Elicor to um, try to save my father. Ah, there you are. You ready to go? I'm ready. I'm always ready. Hey, everyone's here. All right, let's go. You've got the bridge, Mirage. Roger. <laughs> Let's do it! Yet again, Mirage doesn't get to go! And Roger isn't here! Good luck. See you soon. If something happens, you have command of the Diplo. Understood. Well, let's just hope nothing happens. My thoughts exactly. We'll be back shortly. Take care. Stay sharp, and keep an eye on the captain. We are back down on Kursa. Feels weird being here again. Is someone there? Yes, Fate, you are seeing things. You're crazy. Hang in there, you two. Shouldn't be long now. <laughs> yeah, because they can hear you. They have telep telepathic, pro you know, things in their heads or whatever. They got telepathy. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Transport jammer. Hand over the boy now. What do you mean? I thought we had a deal. <laughs> Did you? Your equipment suggests otherwise. You Federation scum are always up to dirty tricks. It'd be plain stupid to come unprepared. Besides, we're not from the Federation. What's the difference? Hey, boy, get over here. Wow, Sophia, what a top-down view. <laughs> no! How dare you! Take the boy alive. Kill the rest. It's battle time. There we go. So all we got left are us three. So, how they ever expect to think they're going to beat me, I don't know. Maybe these guys are really superior. But, from the ones we faced earlier, these Vendeen are not much of a threat, as you can see. Results are in. Seems you underestimated us. It would appear so. Fate! Fate! Fate. The tables have turned, B-Wig. <laughs> What's so funny, baghead? You're the only one left. So 
something's being transported down. How's that possible? There's a transport jammer here. <laughs> Fools! Our technology only blocks who we want it to block. We can bring down as many reinforcements as we need. Run for it! After them! Don't let them get away! We're on the run! Sophia? Are you kidding me? She's hurt her ankle. Are you serious? Don't worry. I just tripped. Let me see your leg. Why didn't you tell me you were hurt? Must have been hit in that fight back there. Here we go. We got company. You guys hide here. I'll try to draw them away. What, alone? I'll be fine. I can handle these guys. Her injury is going to slow you down. I've spotted one over here. Seem to have lost Cliff. Show me where you're hurt. Huh? Oh, right here. Also, uh, Sophia, I don't know if you noticed, but, uh, YOUR PANTS ARE STILL UNDONE! DO UP YOUR GODDAMN PANTS! <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. We'll fix you up in no time once we get back to the Diplo. I know it hurts, but hang in there a bit longer. Okay, thanks. The transport jammer should have about a two kilometer radius of effect, right? That's the Federation spec. But the Vendini technology is more advanced. No doubt it has an even greater area of effect. It will be hard getting clear of it. If we try to run, they'll only come after us. We have to make a stand. You've grown, Fate. It's only been a few days. Like, you know, stop taking strange pride in me. Let's talk it over with Cliff when he gets back. Okay. In the meantime, Dad, there's something I have to ask you. So you've finally found out. But you must understand, I never once thought of you as a tool for my research. You were born because your mother and I always wanted a child. Well then, tell us why! How could you treat your own child like a guinea pig? By the way, who is she? This is Maria. Maria Trador. She's the leader of Quark. The Anti-Federation Group. Maria... Trador. Trador? You performed genetic engineering on her, just like you did to me. Uncle Robert? Genetic engineering? What? So that means you're... I see. That's why your last name is... Trador. Also, I was just thinking, he's a scientist, so he's probably got the title of doctor. <laughs> that makes him Dr. Robert. Oh, Dr. Robert, yeah! <laughs> right? You all get that? Beatles reference? Okay, I'll just, I'll just go sit in the corner now. Explain yourself, Dr. Line God. I think we have the right to know. Dad, tell us why. Why did you do it, Dad? Why did you manipulate our genes? 
I did it. For the sake of our universe. Look what happens when you don't manipulate genes. Look at Sophia. She can't even do her genes up. Our universe? That's quite a grand scale. How could modifying our genes have anything to do with the universe? But it's the truth. I performed symbological genetic engineering on you because of a force that would one day threaten all we know. Threaten all we know? I don't expect you to believe me right here and now. It's a long story. I'll explain everything once we get out of here. Just be patient. Is that all? You think we'll accept that poor excuse for an explanation? Maria. That's not what I wanted to hear! I'm sorry. Sorry to keep you waiting. What happened? It's nothing, really. Okay. I've cleared out all the enemies in the immediate area, but we can't waste any time. I'm sure they'll keep calling in reinforcements. And there are still Vendini soldiers here and there. Seems to be no end to them. They're like roaches. I think we should destroy the jammer. Otherwise, we don't stand a chance. We'll be picked off one by one. What do you think? I'd like to hear your opinion. Hmm. Seems we have no other choice. Maria to Diplo. I'm here! That B-Wig's using a new type of transport jammer. We're going to destroy it. Be ready to transport us up as soon as we do. Cannot comply! What's wrong? Under attack by the Dasvanu! Our hands are full just staying alive! Incoming transport at this time would be... What happened to the Aquaeli? It should have been here by now. They're being blocked by another Vendini ship! They need a little more time! Where's Mirage? She's on damage control! Leave her and land her with her! Alright, find some way to hold out until the Aquaeli arrives. We'll do our best! Damn. I should have known the Vendini would have prepared for this. Hey, if the Vendini are engaged, maybe they're also too busy to use their transporters. Yeah, there's a good chance of that. If so, then they've got all the soldiers they're going to get. Let's take out their jammer then. In the meantime, let's just hope the Aqua Ellie shows up to lend a hand. Relying on the Federation sticks in my craw, but I guess we have no other choice. It's gonna be tough, you two, but hang in there. Let's go. Wow. Okay, so we got ourselves a refill station here. And a save point, which is always nice. <laughs> this is lots of story going on here in the Kursa training facility. So we gotta get back and destroy the jammer. Um, where the hell are we, anyways? We came from this way, right? Okay, and then we came from which way? Which where's the cutscene? <laughs> uh Um Was it the other way? But because there's no stairs here. There's a lot of these stupid robotic soldiers though. Um I don't see any stairs here either. I don't remember which way to go. Gotta be back the other way. Must have went the wrong way. It's hard to know where we are anymore. And where we're going. Things are on sale. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know that. 
Just love it when things go on sale. Oh my god, look at this guy. Holy cow, he's a big bad dude. He's big, he's cocky, he's bad. Oh boy, we're gonna get into a battle. I don't even think these are Vendini guys, these are just regular training facility dudes, right? Oh, yes. They might have looked big and bad, but they're not. They're just, yeah, they're the regular guys that we faced way long ago. So we shouldn't really be too, too afraid of these guys. Oh, man. All they're really gonna be is a annoyance, right? Now these guys are Vendini, right? They got the guns and... Yeah. They got the guns and shit. Still, this shouldn't be that big of a deal. Power up! Shoot the kill, ask questions later. Like, how weak was her security force that they went down one shot? Whoa. These things flying above looked pretty dangerous, right? Alright, let's get over here and try to take one of these flying robots out. Holy shit! Did we do 5,000 damage to it? That's a lot of damage. Wow, we are doing a lot of damage. Our sword is just... Wow, it is OP at the moment. Okay. have no idea where we're going, what we're doing, or where we need to get to. This is very bad, that's all I can say. I'm completely lost in here. Oh, that, there's the stairs down. I don't think we want that though, do we? Don't want the stairs down. Or do we? <laughs> Man, I thought we wanted to get back to the roof. Have we just gone in a big circle? Is this where we came from? No, no. Okay, this is not where we came from. But I'm still not sure where we're going. Or what we're doing. Ah, Vendini soldier, leave me alone! Please don't hurt me. I just want to get places. <laughs> Maybe we should have went down those stairs. You've gotta be kidding. So that's how it's gonna be. No, no, they're not kidding. Like, how did we get here from the roof in the cutscene? It couldn't have been that far away, right? <laughs> now I just feel like we've made things way more difficult for ourselves. Really? Really? Cliff? Oh yeah, we don't have our healer anymore. Frick. Our healer was either Audre or Nell, and we don't got either of those. Um, what we do need... Some items. We need to use start using blueberries here. Uh, you should owe me one. She owe me a few of them, actually. I really have no idea where we're going. That's probably where we started from. I really feel like we've just gone around in a big frickin' circle. And that sucks. That really sucks. Maybe I should get, dig out my old maps for this place. Because I thought this was going to be a little easier, to be honest with you. <laughs> I thought this wouldn't have been such a big deal. We would just head back up to the roof and we'll destroy the transporter thing. Majig. Okay. Here's the stairs. Curse of training area. Nope, it won't open from here. Okay. Um. Well, that's bad. That's very bad, actually. How the hell do we get out of here? <laughs> I have no idea how we get out of here. I feel like we're really stuck in this place. 
just looking, you know, just looking around, trying to get to a few places, trying to do a few things. Um, we can, see? We can use the Ring of Disintegration here. Not that I really want to at this time, but yeah. Now that you got your Ring of Disintegration, you can start to use it and hold it. No. Um, on different areas and different things that you've been to in the past to try to get items that you might have missed out on. I don't see any more stairs here. Really starting to piss me off. See? I think we can use Wing of Descent. Oh no, hold on. We can get through here anyways. But we could probably use Wing of Disintegration in here. On lots of things like this, right? How much do you want to bet we can use it here? No? Oh, okay. That doesn't light up. I thought for sure that cracked wall would be good to go. Oh my god, I'm gonna go crazy! I hated this place the first time I was here, and I kind Oh boy, here we go, stairs. Okay. And I kind of hate it more now. Like, you know. Not exactly thrilled with being here, that's for sure. I really, really am not pleased about this. Okay, hold on. What if we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this should be the right way. Here we go. And then you over here. And... Should be here. We're getting somewhere now. Yes. Back to the roof. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. Alright. We're almost there. Back to the bloody roof. And we get ourselves, there we go, we get ourselves the save point. Alright, so we're probably going to end up in a huge battle out there to try to destroy this transporter jamming signal. So we're going to stop here, and in the next episode we're going to go back out there and we're going to fight for our right to party! Until then everybody, I've been Cal's Crazy. Please subscribe, please leave a comment below, and of course... No!